The famous Tiger Temple in Thailand was raided yesterday, signaling the beginning of the end of the popular tourist destination where visitors can snap photos with tigers or bottle feed tiger cubs. The tigers will be removed from the temple and given to state-run wildlife sanctuaries. And this is after years of allegations of animal abuse and illegal wildlife trafficking. So the Wildlife Conservation Office in Thailand, uh, they, they raided this temple, which has about 137 tigers there. And of course, uh, as you've seen maybe in Facebook profile pictures here and there. there. You can either get your picture taken with these tigers that are chained up, as you even see in this picture. You can bottle feed baby cubs, et cetera, et cetera. But, um, so it was promoted as a wildlife sanctuary, but it's been under um, suspicion of having links to wildlife trafficking and um, animal abuse. The, the monks being illegally breeding these animals because there was an agreement reached where they weren't allowed to, to breed the animals. They could just let them breed freely, but... Um, so that's been called into question. The tigers being beaten or fed poorly, being kept in small concrete cages. It looks like many of the animals are drugged, which kind of makes sense if you're having just tourists walk through that you would want them to be somewhat sedated because there's been other uh, complaints of, of tigers attacking tourists. So right. um, they've been under investigation since 2001 when authorities were trying to at least cooperate with the monks or officials at the temple. But it's not until this most, this most recent raid yesterday um, that... They, were, they had a warrant, so they were able to go in there. So we'll get into the details in a mm. moment, but, but what do you think? Yeah, I mean, finally, it's taken this length of time to, to actually raid this place, to bring action against it. One can only hope that this will mean that this place will actually be shut down permanently, because to your point, they clearly have to be drugged if they're not gonna be uh, you know, attacking tourists. Um, and it, the shame of it is, is that these places wouldn't exist if there wasn't a buck in it for them. So it's clearly being fed by the tourist trade and it's people coming over and wanting, you know, wanting an image of themselves feeding a tiger for their Facebook post. So yeah. it's, you know, it is supply and demand. Uh, we can't educate people. Seemingly you can't, there's, there's a never ending stream of unscrupulous, amoral people who just don't care one way or the other where they, how they get their cool Tinder picture. <laughs> so uh, if, if, if you can't educate people and appeal to their greater sensibility, then you just take away the problem, you take away the, the supply. Well, and, and maybe a lot of people, they're not aware. I think if you're going to a place that's I, like that's a, bullshit. a, you know. I'm sorry, that can't, then, that ignorance is no defense in the that, eyes of the to law. To me, I would agree okay? with you. So, I would and agree. I would extend it to this. Yeah. You know, it's the same as saying, well, I didn't know I was drunk, but when I got behind it, that's no defense. I didn't, yeah. same, same, same applies here. Ignorance is yeah, no if defense. You're like, if you're being, if you're taking a picture next to an animal that's chained up, doesn't that tell you something about whether or not the animal should be there? Um, yeah, well, and what was interesting is with this raid, um, when, when the uh, officials arrived, the, the people, you know, the monks at the, the temple wouldn't allow them in. They actually freed, you know, let some of the tigers go just to create this sort of sense of chaos. So the officials were armed with tranquilizer darts and they're having to get these, right. these animals out of there. So as of yesterday, there were six or seven, there were conflicting reports of how many uh, tigers were removed, but as of today, there are about 33. So they are gonna continue until all of the 137 uh, animals are taken and then and taken to uh, state-run wildlife sanctuaries. But yeah, I mean, this absolutely to me just speaks to the bigger issue. Obviously, there's a an economic uh, point here. Like, you know, the people that are against shutting down the temple, they say that it's, it's you know, there's nothing negative about it at all. There's nothing dangerous with the with the animals being kept there, but that it's it's really just going to mess up the economy of, of the local territory. So, but yeah, man, I mean, I've done stories on, or I did a story about uh, one of these shoddy roadside zoos, even in the United States, where you go and there's these bears or other, like, actual wild, wild animals that shouldn't be in the deep south, but that are there. And it's, it, I think there's this bigger conversation needs to happen of why do we feel the need, why does the global population feel the need to be best friends with wild animals? Why do you need to take a picture next to a monkey that's been chained up in order to feel one with nature? Doesn't that seem counterintuitive mm -hmm. to you? you right I don't think it's about feeling one with nature I just think it's about seeming it's about you know seeming to be well traveled cultured diverse urbane all of those things sophisticated varied whatever it is yeah. you know listen they're beautiful creatures uh, and the opportunity to be close to them and you're not behind you know two inch thick glass or behind a uh, you know an iron fence or whatever I, I get it it's it's exciting and intoxicating up to the point where 
you realize that these are abused animals and that you're just lining the pockets of, of their abusers and their captors. Mm -hmm. And they're wild animals. They're not supposed to be petted like a, like a household right. cat. You know, um, and so it's about it's about having an awareness and an intelligence and being able to appreciate them for what they are, but not having to stick your grubby fingers into every <laughs> orifice right. and every aspect of everything. Yeah. You know, and we just talked about the Great Barrier Reef, and it's the same thing about having to touch and feel every single thing. No, it doesn't work that way. We you know, it's we've it, already domesticated so many animals. We right. already make them. You know, we need to realize that nature and wildlife are not just there to either feed us or entertain us. So. Um, I mean, I, I will be interested to see how this, uh, how this plays out, but so far this is the takedown of the Tiger Temple.